This video was presented by the EA Game Changers program and a major thank you to them for bringing me down to capture this footage early. I'm gonna put it to you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're gonna win a national championship together. Career mode in the Madden franchise is finally back. I have been begging for this for what feels like forever. And I want to give a big shout out to EA Sports. Fly me down to Orlando, put me in a hotel so I could record this footage for you guys exclusively. I had this before anybody else. I'm extremely excited about that. If you guys are hyped and you want to see more faces of the franchise and all the other Madden content that I have for you guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a like. See if we can hit 3,000 likes in this video and I will be dropping so much footage. It'll be hard for you to watch all of it. But again, thank you guys for the support because without that, wouldn't have that but anyways back to madden what you're seeing right now is the character customization i'm kind of going through a little bit here and there um it's pretty basic in the first part you can do skin tone you can do your hair all that different things and then this is where madden actually has the advance at its part which we haven't really seen in the franchise before eye shape eye color tilt separation different eyebrows uh your brow prominence so if you have like the uh, protruding forehead or one that's sort of more uh pushed back different nose shapes and sizes it's not exactly where I want it to be, but this is a huge step forward for Madden because this is leaps and bounds better than anything they've had in such a long time. But once you're finished creating your guy, you can go in, choose your right hand uh, or your left hand for your hand in this. You go to your hometown, which big shout out to Laray, Virginia. It's a small town that I'm from. Obviously, I got to go and represent them. But after that, you can actually choose your voice, which again, I'm happy about this. And let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of... I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even... I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's... Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this... Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're gonna be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, ma'am. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? So after you avoid the creepy guy in the bathroom, you have your college choice. So again, you get to play one or two games okay. in college. Again, you can go Clemson, Florida, Florida State. The list of them are all going to be listed here. LSU, Miami, Oklahoma, Oregon, Texas. Just a sec because of Patrick Mahomes, more than likely, and USC. Personally, I'm going with the University of Florida here and uh, see what happens when you choose it. You wanted to see me. Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. Just wait.
If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. The better question is if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. But to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, he's got to prove it to those guys. All right, gentlemen, like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. So we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. me, you're the guy to get it done. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> Who's we? I did. Yes. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby. Game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, go on in there. Uh-huh. Uh, this is for players and coaches only. You know that you're a bum if basically not even recognizing you, but I'm telling you right here, I'm here to play. You can choose whatever team you want to play for the first game. So a lot of different options here. I thought about LSU, but I'm going to go back here and choose Miami. I'm here to play Miami. What? The Hurricanes. Yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? Now, right here, you get an opportunity to enter in your first and your last name for your character. I love what they've been doing with this. You'll get opportunities to edit height and things of that nature, too. But again, it's a clever little way to bring that in. That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I don't know who you are, but uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to record them. Okay. All right. So we all know your situation tonight, but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, well, I, oh man. Hey, what's up, man? I like to keep the defense guessing. You know, if there's a lane, I'll find it and go. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How would my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense, you were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. You know, they'd say I like to keep things loose in the locker room. Yeah, football's important, but doesn't mean you can't have fun. Okay, so a little bit of work hard, play hard, that kind of thing? Yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning a national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. Yes, sir. So now we've got an opportunity to get ready for the college football playoffs. Again, you got to win the first one if you want to make it to the national title. It was time to show up big. We've got to get a little practice. We're going to warm up. Again, this is a way for EA to basically walk you through or Madden to walk you through basically couple of drills, a little bit of tutorials, and it gets you a little bit more familiar with the controls. Uh, some things have changed this year as well. Uh, obviously, that's just showing you how to get the coach cam pulled up. But then from here, you're going back into the lob passes, things of that nature. Now, you're going to be working out with Isaiah. If you haven't really figured it out so far, Isaiah's kind of your go-to guy. He's the playmaker on the team. We're talking about players in Florida history, then he's probably like the Percy Harvin, right? The guy that can play receiver, and guy that can play running back, and all those things. But honestly, this is a good way for you to get your timing down. Uh, the passing is a lot better this year, in my opinion. I feel like in Madden 20, I can actually put the ball in a particular spot better than I could in any version of the series for probably five, six, seven, maybe years at that point. Another opportunity is a little pass here across the middle. It's a touch pass. These are vital. 
One thing I've also noticed is that linebackers don't really have that super linebacker jumpering ability that they've had for decades. The amount of times we've all thrown passes and seen a linebacker jump up 10 feet to intercept it is insane. You aren't really going to see that here. Also, the pump fake is brand new, or not brand new, but the way they've actually introduced it is new. You're double tapping the receiver icon you want to do, and when you do that, you'll see actually the little dot pop up where the target is going to go. So when you're playing user versus user, it is huge because you can pump fake, make them think the ball's going to go one way, or one way, and throw it to another receiver, maybe across the field or to a different section. Here's back to the total passing control. We're going out to the sideline. Perfect little pass there to Isaiah again, using a bullet pass. Uh, your high passes are still using the left bumper, so again, going here to the corner of the end zone. The lofty throw, Isaiah's got that one, and it's good. And then we got a low pass here again. This is using the left trigger. If you're on PS4, it's going to be L2. Uh, and then obviously the corresponding receiver icon here, and we drill that one, no problem. The throw away here, actually, I had to edit out a little bit because for whatever reason, it didn't really trigger for me properly, but we finally got it. Let's see what they talk about. And we do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Come on, this is crazy, right? Right? Agreed. Coach needs to wake up. I'm ready for this. Man, forget about him, man. Listen, I don't care how much you played. You're a leader on this team. Leaders, sometimes they have to do what's right, even if they don't like it. Got it, coach. I got you. Yeah? <laughs> Outside, it's a rare Texas snowstorm, but we are indoors here at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And tonight, it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups, as we'll see the Miami Hurricanes the taking on their in-state rivals, the Florida Gators. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. Means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. So we are finally on the field. We've done so much in terms of practice and warming up and all of that, but we're finally getting an opportunity to play against Miami. So obviously we're back here with quarterback. We'll pass across the middle probably here, but O'Neal is going to grab it. I've seen this actually happen a lot of times where you might throw to one guy, but if they're in the same area, the secondary receiver has an opportunity to get it. I was scrambling again. I am a mobile quarterback, as you guys saw, and I created my guy. I'm going to be using my legs as much as I humanly can. A little toss out here to Jennings. Jennings up the middle. Jennings breaks one tackle, and they finally bring him down at about the 34-yard line. Get back up here. A little play action fake. With the running game's working, you obviously want to go ahead and abuse the play action. Pass across the middle is a dot to Isaiah Streets, who hauls it in inside the red zone now. From the 14, we have a read option. We actually, it's a read pass option here. Burke is going to get a hold of it. He's going to move forward, fight through. He's a big dude, but I think there's actually a penalty on that play. And we were correct in that assumption. Cam Oldenburg has the penalty. Now because of that penalty, we lost five yards. I'm here at the 19, dropping back again from under center. Going out to the right-hand side, we got a guy across the middle in the big fella, O'Neal. We struck the wrong way, and we're going to be short of the first down marker. So second and two because of O'Neal not getting that. We'll hand off here to Jennings again. He's been pretty productive so far. They want to drop him down at the one-yard line, which means I want the QB sneak. Honestly, I'm afraid of passing here against Miami's defense, and I mess up on the QB sneak. We're back here at the one second ago. We push through. They hit me, and we're going to get our first touchdown at the starting quarterback i'm excited about that we're gonna be up 7-0 assuming the extra point goes through which it did now we got a field goal miami got a touchdown in the second quarter with about 232 left your boy's gonna scramble up the middle and look i'm a big quarterback i'm six foot four we gotta go through the middle all day second to go from the one i don't want to be like too selfish here we're gonna move a guy in drop him back for a pass a lot of pressure in our face we're gonna roll to the right hand side but it's not going to look too good in our favor as we are brought down there, making a third and goal from the six-yard line. 
I can shotgun move up the middle a little bit. We got all the lane in the world. Another rushing touchdown. Look, passing touchdowns are non existent right now, but on the ground, we have been deadly. There's a minute and nine seconds left in the first half. We got a 10 point lead. We want to make sure we try to get some points on the board if at all possible, but we obviously, you know, don't want to risk it too much. We throw it deep on there and Burke grabs it. He had a sick run earlier. Now he's got a big catch. I don't know exactly what difficulty you're playing on for this first game, but it doesn't feel like it's an overly high difficulty. So keep that in mind with some of these animations. We're back in shot, got to pass into the flats. It's batted away by the DB, nearly picked off. It would have went to the house. Under a minute left on the eight yard line again, trying to stay in the pocket. Got a guy open, we float it, and that one is beautiful. That's a touch pass again, making it tough for the linebacker to get it. We've extended our lead now to 24 7, but Miami comes back like crazy in the second half. They're only down three points now. It's 24 21 again. We have the lead. Going to the right hand side, we got our guy here in Arnold, and Arnold is going to grab it, making it a 10 point lead with the extra point. The big fella is coming up huge for us right now. That was good poise, though. Stretching the pocket a little bit of stretching the play and getting it. Miami turns the ball over. We have it here again. 10 point lead. Start of the fourth quarter. Getting back in the pocket, dropping back a little bit too far. Rolling to the left hand side, and there's literally nothing. So, got to go ahead and get rid of that one. From the 11, 450 left again. Underneath center, handing it off here to Jennings. Jennings has all the room in the world. Breaks the tackle, breaks another one. Goes for the third broken tackle, but can't get it. So we're inside the five now because of that heroic run. On third and three, all the time in the world across the middle again. It is open, and the last guy that caught a touchdown from us is Arnold. He catches another one. We're going to excuse him for the dance there, but Miami now. Now 17, under three left. Trying to make a big play here. They throw it up in double coverage, and 17 is going to grab it. What a catch. And if they get the extra point, that makes it a 10 point game at that point. So with it being a 10 point game, we got third and two. Probably should run it, but you know what? You got to risk it for the biscuit sometimes. And Isaiah Streets, we got into our connection here. He's going to move his way through. He goes into the end zone, hits the pylon, and the young fella has just put the game away. That has sealed the deal. We are going to go on to play for the national championship because look, I was out there slinging it. Isaiah Streets out there catching it, and our defense. They played okay. Better in the first half than the second half, but you know what? You have more points than them, and that is all that matters if you want to advance. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, sir. How's a gutsy performance out there tonight? You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And what it's worth. I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby, we're going to the chip. Whew. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! <laughs> <laughs> M, looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta, fuchsia? What color is that? <laughs> okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Look, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well, hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I think I'm gonna have to go with purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, look. <laughs> you see, look. You don't. You don't pick from the options given. All right. The game is in the name. Off the board. Now it's clicking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, Onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but... Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course, anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. 
four touchdowns. Oh, <laughs> is, is that okay? Uh, well, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's great to see you again. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Emily. You too. All right. We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Not, not at all. Is it? No, no not, that's no. it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent, but they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real, he's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Are you sure, coach? <sighs> you know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. And it's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you gotta take a step back, all right? You gotta breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Right. Yeah, thanks. Good one. Yeah. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. As we'll see the LSU Tigers taking on the Florida Gators. This is a big opportunity. It is the national championship again. If you guys are hyped for this series and want to see more, make sure you guys hit the like button. That would help me out a ton. Again, we're trying to hit 3,000 likes in this video. The first play we go was a little halfback draw up the middle. This is working out pretty well. So because of that, we'll go right back to the play action. We got a guy sneaking out here on the right-hand side, and Burke is going to come down with another big... Yo, that dude is impossible to tackle. But another big catch by him, though. From second and nine, as we pass the right side of the 50. A lot of pressure coming back. We're gonna dump it off to the halfback here. Gales is gonna move his way down the right hand side. Two guys in front. The juke, not very effective, but he still gets inside the 30. Moving under center again. Jennings back in the backfield. He leaks out a little bit. We got a guy across the middle. We're gonna throw it right here to him. O'Neal, the big fella, is gonna go through it. Ray Ray O'Neal is down at the five yard line, which means that we're in prime territory trying to get a touchdown. Again, a lot of pressure coming through. We say poised in the pocket. The drop in a bucket there to Streets, and Streets is gonna have it. The first touchdown. Look, last game we started off with two rushing touchdowns, basically. This time we come out with a passing touchdown, showing that, look, we're not just about throwing on our, you know, running on our legs. We can actually throw when we're moving around in the pocket. A good step up in the pocket there leads to a first down. Back to the play action again. It has been so lethal. We got to do it. And a bullet pass is just in between every single part of the defense for streets. We're hauling in big. And the play action has been lethal. We got a guy leaking out to the right-hand side. And Ray Ray O'Neal is going to catch that one inside the 20. You're in the red zone. What a block by the running back. They're throwing out here deep. This one goes up in streets. The young fella, he is putting on a show right now. This is what I'm talking about. This is why, you know, we're best friends, obviously, out there. You can see the reports coming in. Now, I use the pump fake mechanic. Right here again, Ray Ray O'Neal. The big fella's going to try to fight his way through, but two defenders push him right back. No forward progress on that. 
Second two again. Good play action. Great block by the running back again. Doing a little bit of room here. I'm going to try to run on my legs a little bit. I'm feeling some pressure from number two. We're going to push through and two can't tackle. We're out of bounds. I don't love that part, but I love not fumbling and obviously holding on to the rock. Little halfback draw here to Jennings. Jennings leaks through and he's going to get about 11 or 12 on that run. Still a two touchdown lead at the moment. Just great. Underneath center. Let's you bring in the house now. We got a guy leaking out to the right. We're going to throw it up. O'Neal again. Ray Ray O'Neal is a monster. Honestly, a best name I have on the team as well. From the 11 now in shotgun. We got a five wide receiver set. They poise. Protection's there, but all of a sudden it collapses at the last second. And we're going to get sacked, I believe, for the first time of the game right now. From second to 16. Protection's holding up a little bit better, but we don't trust too much. We run to the right-hand side. Again, get out of bounds. Live the run another day. And keep your team's drive alive. From underneath center at 35 from the six-yard line. Got to be careful here. Don't want to turn it over. A field goal is perfectly fine because we're up so much. Do a quick check down the streets. He's going to be short of the first down mark, which means on fourth down, got to kick the field goal. Luckily, our kicker, unlike some of the guys in the NFL, ends up being pretty good. And it's a 17-0 lead going into halftime. It's been a tough one. It's been a battle. LSU, they're struggling, and we're prospering. Hey, come on. Hey, you need to play better in the second half, all right? What? Just give me the ball, all right? Let me do my thing. Got it. Hey, you know how much this means to me, right? Of course I do. Then make it happen. Okay, man. Well, that little piece you saw there is one of the different ways that you can actually build the type of player you are. And a lot of that goes into your draft. What a throw right there, if I got to say so. But a lot of that goes into sort of your draft portfolio and how teams ultimately view you. If I had to answer there and sort of argue with them, you might have seen me as kind of a guy that really couldn't gel his team together. But as you saw on the left-hand side, he gave me a team player boost. So again, all those little decisions that you're making, they matter. They end up, I guess, impacting somewhat of how you get drafted or what your view has. But all that matters right now is that Dobby just threw to Ray Ray O'Neal for a touchdown, extending our lead to 24-10 because LSU did get a touchdown. So this happened. Look at this, Isaiah Streets, multiple broken tackles. And the young fella, he said, give me the rock. Look at what we did. But you know what? To his credit, we got him the ball and... Uh, he just went to the house to make it 31 to 10. And because of that, we're going to walk in here. We end up getting one more touchdown. We make it 38 to 20. The Florida Gators, our national title. We're champions, baby. They thought a backup quarterback couldn't do it, but look at us. We made it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy as we present your College Football National Champions, the Florida Gators. Jack Ford, talk about a long shot. And as a man who's known as the quarterback whisperer, and I suggest you trademark that, by the way, um, how are you feeling about your quarterback right now? I tell you, this kid's amazing. He worked around the clock to prepare for this game. I've never seen anything like it. And I am so proud of what he's done and under this kind of pressure. Hope all you NFL scouts out there are paying attention because this kid's special. Come on. You deserve it, son. Congratulations. Coach, this is you. This is great. Thank you. A perfect end to a too short season. You're leaving here a champion. I, 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 it's better than I ever thought it would feel. <laughs> I can't even describe it, really. It's just to be up on this stage, celebrating with these guys. It, it's perfect. It's just perfect. It is a perfect end, but it seems like you put up a pretty good case that it shouldn't be today. How do you feel about that? I, hey, I, I think I gave myself a shot. If the NFL comes calling, I'll pick up the phone. But this guy over here, this guy, the trophy man. Absolutely. Isaiah Streets, we are all aware of the loss of your brother and what it took to be here today. But can you tell us in this moment how you're feeling right now? It's a lot, lots of feelings, Taylor. Uh, I made a promise to my brother that I was going to You know, none of this, none of this would have been possible without this man right here. This dude came into an impossible situation. He's got heart. 
Love you, man. Hey, I love you, man. See? This was for you, baby! Yeah! This was for you! Yeah. Let's go! A lot of emotions out on the field tonight. This is what football is all about. It's about getting hit and getting back up. And as you can see in a season that was characterized by overcoming, these guys did just that and won a national championship. Back to you guys. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, he's actually right here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hello? Hey, how's it going? It's Emily's dad. Look, I, I know that you've got a lot on your plate, and I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I did want to tell you that Emily's out of her surgery, and she is doing great. She got to see the, the game and everything. You have made a fan for life in her. Thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, please, have Emily stay in touch. I will. I will. Thank you. All right, bye. Take care. See you then, baby. College football season's wrapped up and the draft is two months away. Today we kick off the NFL Scouting Combine. Over the next seven days, more than 300 college prospects will run, jump, catch, and throw for NFL coaches and scouts. Kyle, who's your player to watch? Okay, it's the mythical backup quarterback who just won a national championship. Look at this guy who's played in two games. Two games, and we're saying maybe a third round pick? Come on, the hype is unreal. Kyle, he did win a national championship. Yes, he did. It was incredible. Peter, eight quarters of football, third round pick. Get out of here. If he blows up the combine like some people expect, uh -huh. he could be a first round draft. No way. No, Nate, no way. Listen, this isn't a particularly strong draft class for the quarterback position. And you know when that happens, teams get desperate for that QB, and they start to reach a little bit. Guess we'll find out soon.